Starting with a bit of tap water, I'm going to add some graphite powder. This is a filler graphite used in epoxy fairing. Now just a bit of detergent. And you have yourself a very nice looking rheoscopic fluid. Okay, back to the graphite flakes. The magnetic field is vertical, curling around to the side. And since the flakes are constrained by the water, for them in order to get away from the vertical field, they move away to the side where they can align with the field curling around. And with a field from side to side, curling around the top of the magnet, You'd expect no flakes in this region if the flakes were strongly repelled by magnetic fields. However, you can see they sit there quite content since they are aligned with the field which is horizontal. These white areas show where the field curls up vertically through the water and then back down again on the other side. Now let's see what happens if the flakes are not constrained by the water surface. I'm just going to sprinkle it on a dry piece of plastic. And now the flakes can align with the field regardless of being vertical or horizontal. Where the field is horizontal, the flakes lie flat and they reflect the light giving you this nice shiny area. This area and this area shows you where the field is vertical. Now let's bring back that nice rheoscopic fluid. Right, are you ready for this? Voila! I added even more graphite until it was almost a slurry and then I let the larger flakes settle out and poured off the top which is what you see here, uh, very fine particles that remain suspended for longer. You also end up with a less viscous fluid since too much graphite can hamper the amount of small eddy currents being visible. Both these magnetic gears have their flux arranged radially. The one on the left is a Holbach array. The one on the right is a conventional alternate north-south arrangement. Two more arrays using small bar magnets, this time with a field vertical. Again the one on the top is a Holbach array, the other north-south arrangement. First through the water is this small cylinder. Slightly larger cylinder. How about an ellipse? And let's give this ellipse a small angle of attack.
notice this shed vortex right at the beginning that is something that you see on every aircraft wing as it starts producing lift it leaves behind a vortex and that vortex is attached to both wingtips forming a horseshoe remember that Holbach array I showed you earlier I've attached it to the bottom of this carriage Now let's have some fun. Let me redo this one really slowly. <laughs> 